Hey, Arpin London Bears. Welcome back, you guys. So, it's just me today. And I'm going to tell you all why in a minute. Aubrey's not here with me. I know you all probably read the title and is wondering, like, what's going on? What happened to Aubrey? So, I'm going to get into all of that in a minute. But first, I'm going to tell you all what I'm eating. Today, I have some stir-fried prawns. I'm going to tell you all how I made this stir fried prawns. I have some spicy beloved sauce. I have some cucumbers, sausages, and Indonesian noodles. These are my favorite noodles. I love these noodles. So yeah, let's get started. I was going to do the sausage, rice, cucumber, and beloved sauce, but I didn't want rice today, so I'm going to do it with the noodles because I've tasted beloved sauce with these Indomie noodles before, and they're so good. So let's get started. Oh yeah, and I have the um, one time spicy sauce. That challenge last time killed me. I'm not about to play with that two time spicy sauce anymore. So yeah. And I did that challenge wrong. It was crazy because I went back and watched other YouTubers videos they um, put the two times spicy sauce in like a sauce, like the beloved sauce or like a seafood sauce. They put it in there. I was eating it straight up, like plain, and it was so hot, like my mouth was on fire, and it didn't go away. It's about like 20 minutes after the video, so I was like, no, no, never again. Mm. Mm. That's so good. So, I know you are probably wondering why Aubrey isn't here. Let me tell you all. Well, one, because she didn't want to film today. If you all go back to the last video where she did the ASMR spaghetti video, she had a little tiny scratch on her face. She didn't want to film today. You all may know that we have a Labrador. He's about to turn one on May 22nd and <clears throat> first of all it's been a it's been a quite a journey raising um a medium large size dog because we've always had like tiny dogs like chihuahuas and chihuahuas and things like that but um I love it though like a Labrador has always been my dream dog and I've always wanted a Labrador since I was a little girl so the reason why I wanted a Labrador is because I knew that that type of dog would be safe to have around my child. So that's why. But what had happened was Aubrey and Benji were playing and I guess things got a little rough and Benji scratched her on the face. So she didn't want to film today. So she was like, Mom, just film by yourself. And I was like, oh, fine. So and I know um some of you requested that you wanted me to film by myself anyways. So here I am. I love these noodles. Mm. Mm. So that's what happened to Aubrey. It was like she cried for like a minute. Mm. When she seen her face, when Benji scratched her, but five minutes later, she was like, Mom, I forgive him, and went back at it again. Kept playing with him. I'm like, that's crazy. Mm. Mm -mm So these prawns, I don't know if you all can see, they have the green stuff on it is green onions and cilantro. I stir fry these prawns instead of boiling them. Mm. 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 
Look at that prawn. Mm. I gotta stir fry these prawns more often. They're so good. I'm gonna tell you all how I did that in a second. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. They're so tender. And yes, I'm filming in my pajamas. Everybody knows what's going on in the world. And I've been in the house. So I was like, I don't feel like putting on real clothes. Mm. This is hitting a spot. This is really good. So I stir fried these prawns in... Um, Vegetable oil, garlic, minced garlic. Y'all yeah, know the kind that comes in the thing. I call it lazy garlic because I'm too lazy to chop up garlic. So I just use that kind. Vegetable oil, minced garlic, oyster sauce, Korean barbecue sauce. The chicken and pork marinade one. The one that has a red top and it has like a picture of like um, a pear and an apple because I guess it has pear and apple um, puree in it. And then I did um, a little bit of sugar, MSG, and black pepper. And um, a little bit of chicken bouillon powder. Oh my god, these. And then at the end... Like in the middle, when it was cooking, I added um, some green onions, some cut up green onions. And then towards the very, very end, I put in cilantro. And oh, it's so good. You all have to try stir fry prawns. They're so good. Mm. I didn't add any salt because... Oyster sauce. <clears throat> mm. Has a lot of salt in it already. So. And I only added the sugar to balance the flavor out. Like I didn't add so much sugar to where it was sweet. Because Korean barbecue sauce is already kind of sweet. If you all want to see how I made these stir fry prawns, like you all want to see a recipe video or a cooking video, let me know. That green stuff on it, oh my gosh, cilantro and green onion, so good. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. The sauce that is stir fried in is good. You can eat it plain. It's so good. Mm. <clears throat> Look at that big old shrimp. Dip it in the sauce. Mm. 
Mm. Ooh, kind of got a little kick to it, that Korean, <clears throat> that one time spicy sauce is hot. That is so good. Mm. The enomi noodles are my favorite. Not the spicy ones, because I know they have a hot and spicy one, but for some reason the original one has more flavor than the spicy one. Like, I don't know what it is, like it has more of that garlicky flavor. It's so good. Mm. So how has everyone's quarantine been? I know it's probably been kind of hectic for some people. I hope everyone is safe with your family and I hope we can just all get through this together without any more chaos than it has already been. Oh, it has steam coming out. I'm scared. Look at that sauce that I stir fried it in all on the shrimp. Oh, it's so good. Mm. I gotta show y'all how I made these shrimps. It's so good. I don't want it to splash on me. That sauce is amazing. Look at that giant prawn.
Look at that drenched in bee love sauce. Mm. We were supposed to be in Canada right now, but we had to um, cancel our trip because, you know, what's going on. And it's just crazy. It's already April. And I know um, the Thai, Laos, and Cambodian New Year is this month. Which also is in a lot of places has gotten canceled. So it's been crazy. Um mm, it's so good. Oh my god. My parents usually fly to um, Dallas, Texas because they have like a, a big um, festival for the new year in April every year. And my mother also has family down there. So they usually go every year and I know she's kind of bummed because um, she told me to like go ahead and cancel it for her because you know what's going on so it's crazy and happy birthday to everybody out there who's had to spend their birthday quarantine I know that sucked I just hope this thing goes away and everybody is safe and it doesn't get worse because we don't need worse mm. And the coronavirus doesn't even want to make you go to the store no more. It's like when you're at the um the grocery stores now and the clerk is trying to check you out, they have that little thing blocking you all now. So like it's like less contact. And like even at the post office, like I went to go check um me and Arby went to go check our PO box. And when we went in there, Arby's like, Ma, I don't wanna like I don't wanna come back in here because like it feels weird because you have like the X, like they marked on the floor where you can stand like and it's like far away from another person and they're only letting like a couple people in at a time. So she was like, well, I don't want to come back in here. Like she was like, it's kind of giving me the creeps like the coronavirus is real. I was like, I know me too. Like we don't even want to go and check our PO box anymore. And when I go in there, I can't just stick the key into our P.O. box and see if anything's in it, you know, just in case there are any, um, like, large packages or something that can't fit in our P.O. box. We have to, um, you know, stand in line and ask the lady, like, hey, is there, do we have any mail? So it's, it's just crazy. But if any of you all have any advice on how I can minimize the scratch on Arby's face and minimize the scarring, let me know. When they first, I put um, Neosporin on it and then I followed up with Mederma because I, you know, I Googled some things and it said Mederma, Mederma for kids helps with like scarring. So I'm constantly putting that on there every day and I'm cleaning the area 
with witch hazel so let me know and Aubrey will possibly be back on the next video she's like ma I didn't want to go they're gonna see my scratch I'm like Aubrey you're a kid who cares like kids get scratched up all the time she's like no so yeah this is a hard job like I miss Aubrey being here eating with me like she has a lot to remember so bye guys give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit the notification button give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to follow Aubrey on Instagram at at rblondon underscore don't forget to follow her on tiktok rblondon12 and my email will be linked down below and our p.o box will be linked down below so if you all want to mail us anything send us cute letters anything just send it to the p.o box down below bye guys